how I got into winemaking was essentially by necessity through a, uh, wanting a part-time job during my second year university. And uh, as they would say, got written by, by the wine bug. And that fascination, that curiosity just continued on and got stronger towards graduating from university and fell into uh, apprenticeship uh, with a uh, winery in northern Toronto. Working his way up throughout the industry, now Steve Byfield is the only black winemaker in Canada that he knows of. Recognizing and acknowledging that yeah, there are black professionals in the wine industry. I'm the only uh, person of color, person of African, African Canadian descent who has his own wine label in Canada, definitely his own wine label in Ontario, and we've been uh, doing this uh, venture since 2008-2009. Of all the winemakers in the United States, 1% of that is made up of African Americans. What is your thoughts on the representation in winemaking in Canada? I think it's something that uh, definitely has, um, has been changing slowly. Uh, for myself, I see a lot of uh, younger people coming in of different communities, different ethnicities. Steve hopes his story can inspire others. As for myself, I had a great a number of uh, mentors, uh, winemakers, wine owners, uh, business owners who... Uh, throughout my career, my path has been more than helpful. If I could myself pay it forward by helping people, you can do it. And he wants to show that wine pairing can reflect diversity as well. For Black History Month, he hopes to host a tasting of African and Caribbean and North American soul food paired with his vintages. So just give me the idea that, you know, and the notion that you can pair wine with the foods that you're comfortable with. So your food, your culture, your cuisine. Is, so it's all about enjoyment and community. In Vineland, Audra Brown, City News.